what is up guys uh, welcome back to some more wwe 2k19 coverage and we are in week number two of the roster reveal so a bunch of new superstars has been confirmed so in this video what you guys are seeing in the background right now is some of the renders of the superstar that were revealed and some of the new gameplay footage so i'm gonna go ahead and run down through the whole list of the superstars that were confirmed today which were a total of approximately 60 superstars the main focus of this week was of course smackdown live and 205 live so the following star were finally confirmed so we got aiden english aj styles akira tosawa from 205 live alexander wolf andrade cn almas finally but unfortunately it looks like selena vega is only going to be a playable character as she was shown with andrade cn almas during the roster reveal as they ended up showing a clip but she wasn't actually revealed as a playable character so that's unfortunate but at the same time it's almost understandable because she only had like two to three matches in the wwe so i'm assuming that by next year she will definitely have a full move set and they're gonna be able to put her in the game but do keep in mind that if you're playing on pc there's probably gonna be a pc mod that we're able to play with her moving on we got aria devari asuka becky lynch Big E, billy k brie bella carmella Cedric alexander cesaro charlotte chris jericho daniel Brian, Drew Gulak, Epico Cologne, Eric Rowan, Grand Metalik, Harper, Hideo Itami, Gentleman Jack Gallagher, Jeff Hardy, Jay Uso, Jimmy Uso, John Cena, Kalisto, Kane, Carr Anderson, Killian Dane, Kofi Kingston, Lana, Lince Dorado, Lou Gallows, Mandy Rose, Maurice, who yes, is a playable character, so very good news on that, Mustafa Ali, Naomi, Nikki Bella, Noah Dar, Paige, Peyton Royce, Primo Cologne, our truth Randy Orton, Eric Rowan, Rusev, Samoa Joe, Shane McMahon, Sheamus, Shelton, and Benjamin, who is finally making a return to WWE games, Shinsuke Nakamura, Senkara, Sonia Deville, Tamina, The Miss, TJP, Tony Nese, Ty Dillinger, and Xavier Woods. So that is all the reviews that we got today, guys. Let me know down in the comments below which one were you looking forward to the most, or are you still looking forward to to play with? Certainly, Andrade Cien Almas is on top of the list, such as Shelton Benjamin. So we got a lot of new addition from SmackDown Live and, of course, 205 Live, which was a big complaint last year that we didn't get many superstars from that brand. But this year, looks like they ended up listening in that aspect, and we ended up getting a bunch of 205 Live superstars. Besides that, I do want to point out something that I pointed out last week, and that is that WWE Games ended up confirming that the attires that you guys see in these renders are aren't necessarily the one that we're gonna be seeing in the game they even ended up revealing a whole new render for Zack Ryder and this was just revealed yesterday because a lot of people were complaining that the render showed him with the hype bro attires but obviously that's not gonna be the case once the game comes out I also want to point out the fact that Maria Canales who is actually on Smackdown Live she's one of the superstar missing from this roster reveal the same thing ended up happening to Mike Canales who is on Monday Night Raw and was not part of the roster reveal last week so it looks like the couple is gonna be left out of this year's game unless they end up being dlc but there's even more superstar that were left out that is kind of questionable because they were in last year's game for example d brian kendrick wasn't even announced today and he was in the game last year so i'm not too sure what exactly is happening here it seems like we still got more superstars to be revealed that are from the actual rosters and i hope that that is the case same thing happened last week where, for example, the NXT champion Tommaso Ciampa wasn't even revealed as part of the NXT roster. Other star not mentioned today were Drake Maverick, which is not a surprise unless he's maybe a manager because he hasn't been in a match in WWE. And the last one that I'm definitely surprised about is Buddy Murphy, who was in 2K17, did not appear in 2K18, and I almost was certain that he was going to be coming back this year. Maybe WWE is planning some type of NXT slash 205 live DLC that we have no idea about so I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see the last couple of things that I do want to discuss that are takeaway from the gameplay that were shown to us were that of course pancakes are gonna be in WWE 2k19 so at least that is a pretty good update but on a serious note it seems also that Shinsuke Nakamura is gonna have his updated theme song and we can see that he's gonna be the default United States champion once the game comes out unless WWE 
three games ended up changing it. Interesting to know that the Blurgeon brothers didn't have the championship when they were shown, and also the New Day didn't have the championship, so I wonder who's gonna be the default WWE SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Anyways guys, as always, make sure to up oh, drop a like on this video if you found this informative. Let's try to hit 500 and plus likes, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, and turn on those notifications. We're in the road to 100,000 subscribers. Much to see how did it.